Mr. Fosa, what's your first thought when thinking about the topic growth, the good, the bad and the ugly? I think my first thought is that we need growth, but we need sustainable growth. Um, for me, the absolute percentage is not important because that's different for every region, maybe even every country or even industries. I think needs, growth needs to be here in order to lift people out of poverty into um, the middle class and actually allow society to have a life which is financeable and uh, uh, that's what we really should achieve over time. And is the growth we are having fulfilling this ambition? No, not at all. I think we have a very mixed pictures ac across the world. We had decades now where the developed world actually um, had good growth and allowed us actually to prosper as well. Uh, the emerging markets, some of them had very good growth, but they have a, an enormous hill to climb or mountain to climb because they have not only social tensions or they are actually going through technology revolutions at the same time they are actually needing to lift people out of poverty. The essential needs of electricity, energy, of food, water, um, that all has to be developed at the same time. Mm -hmm. I think in the West we have most probably the last hundred years for that. And we are expecting the emerging markets to do the same in 10, 20 years, and that's not going to work. So. Okay, so when we talk about growth, apparently we talk about leadership as well. And how has your personal way of leading people and companies changed over the years? Okay, for me, if it's growth or if it's leading a company or leading whatever organization you have, I have a very simple philosophy. I lead through people. It's not possible the other way around, because as a, as a CEO, which I used to be, now I'm a chairman, you cannot do everything yourself. So what you need is the right team, you need to have the right framework, the right incentives, and actually the right um, ethical guidelines, the right sustainability guidelines, processes, and then you lead through them mm -hmm. in collaboration, partnerships with society, with government, with academia, and you drive um, uh, the people to the best performance. Best performance according to their knowledge, their skills, etc. So, I have always said the most important asset of any organization, people. That's without people, you can build the biggest platforms like we have done in my old company. Um, without people, it's not going to happen. So, focus on the people. Are leaders born or made? Um, I think it's a mixture, but I firmly believe that they are made over time. But the natural type of leadership, I think, sits in all of us. Because you lead, if you play football, so I've always sport analogies. If you play football, you play, it's a team, team sport, you have different leaders there. You have maybe those who lead because of their technical skills, you have others who lead through personality, uh, you accept your boss outside the football pitch, um, maybe the defenders are always seen as less important than the attackers, I think it's actually all the 11 in football, so I think it's a little bit of both, but I firmly believe that you always learn. So you learn when you are born from that point until you die. And as a CEO of a company, it would be absolutely wrong if you think you, are no, you are, don't have to learn anymore. You learn every day again. My very last question would be maybe a rather selfish one. If you were to, to share advice with the leaders of tomorrow, uh, with today's youth, a very pointed advice, what would it be? Take your time to learn. Don't think you need to be a CEO with 25, it's okay, a little bit later, but fill your rucksack so that you actually can benefit from your rucksack because you have learned to, over time, to be the, be the best or one of the best in the skills areas you want to be the best. So I think this is constant learning and don't go for careers. Careers not always go just upwards. They may have some kind of um, different shapes from time to time. That doesn't matter. You still learn. Thank you so much for sharing your, your thoughts okay. with us, Mr. Fulza. It's great to be here. Thank you.